All right, guys. So we got the dash here. It wasn't ready for primer yet. Still got a lot of work done. If you guys see here, it has a little groove from factory. Some of it got full of filler. So the best way to go about it, and I do, I do it, I do this, and all the dashes that I do for this Jeep, I just fill this in. Just get rid of it, cause you gotta really get into it to really fade this top part out. So you do, you are gonna have to get rid of the line. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna prep the line. Same thing, sand it, sand it inside, clean it really well with alcohol, sand a little bit of the top, and then fill it with a quick uh, layer of uh, filler. Then we're gonna block this. This is gonna get blocked because any waves in here, you will see it because it is a flat section. So it's gonna have to get blocked. So I'm gonna fill this in, block it, and then we'll proceed with the primary right, paint. So I went ahead and filled all this in, put a little bit more up here just to get a little better. So I'm gonna go ahead and block the top with 60 grit and a solid block. When you're blocking, try not to apply too much pressure because you will eliminate the purpose of, of a block. Just kind of just try to go back and forth smoothly. Make sure the block is always on both sides of the of the of the filler so you don't dent it in. So it's really nice and slow. It'll take a while, but you'll get it all out. Alright, this thing's body worked. All the lines up here are filled in. It has no more dips. So now we can use our Transstar primer. Right now you will have a lot of sand scratches because the last sandpaper that I hit it with was the 60 grit. The good thing about this primer is that it lays on thick so it will fill in some scratches. So as soon as this dries, we're going to hit it maybe with a 220 grit, knock off all the rough spots, another layer, 220 it again. Maybe by the third layer, we'll be able to 400, hit it with 400, and it'll be smooth. One more layer, color sand it, and then we're going to spray it black. The primer's nice, it's on there, it's dried up. Now we're going to get 220. My sandpaper drawer. Two hundred twenty grit sandpaper, and you hit it all again till it's all pretty smooth. It's okay to go through the primer and kind of knock off some high spots if you have any of the of the bondo. Um, this is when you're really gonna start seeing things because as soon as you sand the primer, it turns into a darker shade of gray. So if there's light, uh, if there's darker gray under it that means that that spot is a low spot since you're sanding and you're not touching it so that's when you're gonna really find out what needs more detail wipe it off with some alcohol the more you clean throughout the whole process the better it's gonna the better results you're gonna get People really overlook the cleaning step, and it's a very important one. Now you get your primer ready again. And you spray it again. What's up guys, so I'm back. I had to get dressed, I had to go to church. I had to take a little church break. I had to pray to God this dash comes out pretty good. Cause I'm kind of looks looking kind of scary. Nah, I'm kidding. Sticking good. Okay, so this is the second layer of primer. So now we're gonna get our 220 out again. Whatever, 220, 220. We're gonna sand it. Same thing. Same thing we did on the first step. Now we see exactly the little areas we gotta pay attention to. I'm gonna grab the camera. Hopefully, it picks it up. I'm not sure if it will though. Right here, this area right here has uh, some major scratches that we can fill it in with primer, but we're just gonna be wasting primer. We can address that specific area. 
with something like this. Nitro stand. It's like a little putty filler. It dries up pretty quick. Doesn't need a doesn't need a doesn't need a hardener applied. You I just grab a little bit with my finger and then you finger bang it in the areas that are affected. And just in case you guys don't know how the side slider kit works, there's a connector here. I glue it in once it's all done. That's going to be the next video, how to uh, install the suede, the connector, clean it all up, make sure it's ready for the customer to receive it. But basically, it just slides to the, to the side, and then push in, pops it up, and take it with you. Same thing, slide it in, and then dock it in. Don't apply too much pressure when sanding this one. This one scratches off fairly easy. Not too much pressure, just make sure you don't have any high spots. All you pretty much want to see is that pit or scratch that was there, filled. Not applying any pressure at all. And it comes off. Right there we had a pit hole. There's nothing there anymore. We don't have shit no more. All the putty is sanded. All the filler sanded. I don't see any more pits or scratches. Everything looks good. Now we're gonna dust it off, clean it with alcohol one more time, and spray another layer of primer. If everything checks out okay after this layer of primer, we're gonna hit this primer with a wet sand 800 grit. And if everything's okay, then we can start hitting with some paint. Since right now it's about midnight here in Cali, and I'm still in the garage working. It's about 50 degrees in here, so it's gonna take a little long for the for the primer to dry. So I'm gonna promote the dryness by hitting with the air dryer. This is a very handy tool when it comes to painting, and I'm gonna show you guys why in a, in a little bit. I think we got it where we want it. So I think it's just about ready for paint. It's looking really good. This area got a little bit of overspray, a little bit dirty. We're gonna give it a quick, we're gonna sand this part down with the 1000 grit now. And then we're gonna scuff this one up a little bit too and then clean it all up with alcohol and spray the whole thing evenly so the, so the paint matches. So I get my sandpaper. My favorite way to sand this is in a circular motion. Wet it, Keep make sure it's really wet. This is important to be really wet. The good things in life are always wet. Circular motion, everything. Just knock off any, any, um, any overspray or anything from the spray can. And you're also sanding it so the paint can stick. Same thing. Back to basics. Er erase the tape lines. Now we're gonna get a alcohol, wipe it down one more time. That's pretty much ready for paint. Alright, let's talk about paint. The paint that I like to use is SEM. 39143. It's a trim black paint. It matches the OEM black paint almost perfectly. So it's a very nice paint. Um, it's about 20 bucks a can. So this is where the tip comes in. <laughs> the tip goes in. What I like to do before spraying paint is heat it up with the heat gun. Just place the heat gun in front of it for about five, eight minutes. Let the bottle get nice and hot. It builds up the pressure inside the bottle and it sprays out like if you were spraying out of a out of a paint gun. Spray smooth, nice. And since it comes out kind of hot, it dries quickly. So I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and then uh, once it's warm, we'll paint this. The bottle's pretty pretty warm. Now we shake it all up. 
from all the dust off of it. All right. We're gonna go all the way across. You can hear the pressure come out. All right guys, here's our dash after our paint job. Check it out. Looks pretty bitchin' if you ask me. So, we got the dash painted. Showed you guys some tips on how to paint them. Um, is it done? No. I don't think it is. I'm gonna really inspect it tomorrow. I already take my time inspecting them, making sure there's no defects on them before shipping them out because customers do pay a good amount of money for them, so you do have to be perfect. Um, so tomorrow, I'm gonna detail it. If there's any any minor scratch or any any minor anything, it's gonna get fixed. And then tomorrow, I'm also gonna show you guys how to glue in the connector so it can charge the iPad. And I'm gonna show you guys how to glue in the suede so the back can be all nice when the iPad is removed. But as far as how to prep it for paint, how to how to get to this to the but as far as getting it to painting, we pretty much covered everything that there is to it. I hope you guys learned something from it and uh let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks for watching again.